Capricorn, hello, welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, first house, 12th house placements, stelliums, or wherever Capricorn may resonate at in your chart. Um, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed um, and only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Uh, this will be a general reading, but I will be reading whether it's love, finances, health, career, uh, no matter what it is that comes out, I will be reading that. <clears throat> I read intuitively. So, um, meditating on you guys' energy, I pulled a few of these um, oracle cards from the Illuminated Earth Oracle deck. And I actually was getting hot flashes and feeling a little bit, my heart sped up a little bit, feeling a little bit of anxiety. Um, and it was when I was thinking about your you know, in the recent past. Um, so I feel like, to say the least, things have been feeling a little off. Um, we got this support card and this combustion card. So it, it actually looks like something heated up in some way, metaphorically speaking, um, or exploded or, you know, kind of reached a boiling point. Um, I do see, however either friends or family kind of being there for you at this time. Um, or maybe even whatever happened was kind of between one of your friends or family members or something. But with this combust combustion, I do feel like it was something intense. It was something that shook it up. It was something that might have even burned something down because then we get into this reflection and this water card. Um, water is emotions. It's, it's the subconscious realm. And <clears throat> I feel like whatever happened here in the past, you've been just really reflecting on it a lot. It might be causing you to be a little bit emotional. Um, but I really see you taking a deep look at yourself here and at your situation. Um, and maybe even at this, this happening specifically with this combustion card. Um, it does look like we've got some blocked emotions. Because right after the water card, we've got blocked. And then also two more cards fell out when I was shuffling. Um, and I was guided to keep them because somebody needs to hear that this is about a childhood relationship or a past life relationship, a karmic relationship, a soulmate relationship, something uh, to do with maybe healing childhood wounds within a relationship or something like that, okay? But there is going to be something coming out about somebody's relationship here. So I'm going to get into the tarot now. We'll be doing past, present, future, and then getting clarification, and we will go from there. I appreciate you tuning in, by the way. Um, show some love and hit that thumbs up. This is a new channel, and every time, every thumbs up, every comment, all that, it really helps you guys. So, um, wow, actually feeling like some, what do we have for the recent past for my caps here? Thank you. So, it looks like with this, uh, <clears throat> we got the Ten of Cups. And the Six of Swords. I'm actually just going to pull the past, present, and future real quick. All right. So it looks like there's going to be some, some sort of big choice, some sort of decision that we're going to be making here soon. Um... My cap corner, maybe you're thinking about what decision to make right now. So I feel like whoever I'm picking up for, maybe something here happened in the past where a situation, a relationship, a job even, um, a friendship, it reached its peak. It reached the absolute <clears throat> most fulfilling point that it was going to reach and come to. Here, the Ten of Cups represents all the cups, but it also represents um, 
things having to change here soon. You know, um, everything here is cyclic in nature. So once things reach their peak, there's always um, an ending of some sort of cycle. And Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, we are moving on to some some sort of different energy, okay? And you are being guided. The Six of Swords always reminds me of your angels or your spirit guides really kind of giving you intuitive nudges, maybe synchronicities and stuff like that leading you forward. I'm going to grab some clarification, see if we can get anything else on this past situation here. It actually looks like you're maybe thinking about moving on, thinking about leaving this job and going, uh, finding a new one, or thinking about leaving this relationship um, and going to find a new one. I just saw the Ace of Swords, so... Uh, maybe looking for clarity right now just on what choice you're going to make. Spirit, can I get some uh, clarification for this 10 and this 6, please? Yeah, okay. Just one. So, some sort of heartbreaking uh, ending here. Like I said, that 10 was the end of a cycle. So that 10 of Cups represents some sort of situation really coming to an end it's reached its full potential and now it's time to move on to a new situation here and um i do see that some of you are going to have family and friends around you supporting you right now um i'm also getting don't don't be afraid to talk to your family and your friends at this time you know if you're sort of going through it if this, this combustion and this reflection here is getting, you know, getting to be too much, then it's always good to have someone to, someone to talk to. Anything else for that? Page of Wands in reverse, huh? So yeah, I see there's no action being taken yet. Here, I so you're in sort of a reflection mode right now you see what this um decision is going to be your current energy emperor knight of cups emperor and the knight of cups so i see you are standing strong capricorn that full moon in leo right it was the full moon in leo either last night or tonight um depending on where you're at so I see you really standing strong, really pushing through whatever this is, um, thinking about maybe making some sort of offer, or this may be um, taking your cup and moving somewhere else with it here. This could be what you're thinking about doing. Um, and whether this cup is you at work, or it's you in a relationship, or it's you in any type of friendship, um, anything like that. I see you thinking about making it to that next level or moving to a new energy altogether. Yeah, look, with the two of wands being on the bottom, all right? I'm going to grab some, yep, clarification. So yeah, things are really chaotic right now, or just uh, maybe, hmm, maybe a lot going on around you here that you've just been sort of having to look at it. it looks like this lion is ready to go nuts too so it looks like you've almost been in an energy um where you've been kind of like you know if you're anything like me you probably s isolate and seclude yourself or take yourself out of the equation when you're feeling like this so you're probably staying away from everybody looks right now it looks like you're like stay away from me all this is bull. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to deal with it. All right. You're you're waiting for this, um, for things to change here. You're waiting for things to change. Yeah, you got the seven of cups twice. So it's just, it's just clarification. You're thinking, should I end this? Should I move on? Should I move on?
For some of you, this could be with a fire sign, somebody that you've been with for a really long time. <clears throat> somebody, like I said, with that, okay, yeah, with that childhood and that relationship. So you guys could have been in a relationship since you were like teenagers or something like that. Um, I see you're really in a defensive mode right now. You are really in a defensive mode. Um, the message I'm getting from this Nine of Wands is don't don't put your walls up too high, Capricorn, and push everybody out. Okay. Um, I know I know you're stressed right now. I know things are not the easiest right now. I know this combustion. I can feel it, you guys. Okay. I can feel it. We're all going through our cycles. Okay. Um, so right now, reflection and healing. I, I get with this water card, okay? Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition as you move forward and make this decision about maybe making this offer or moving on to this new energy, all right? I also feel like there needs to be some release, all right? Because we have some blocked energy here. We've got some blocked energy, some... Okay, when we have blockages, our kundalini cannot make it from the base of our spine up here. Um, blockages are all bad. You can clear blockages with Reiki, with breath work, um, probably mantras and stuff like that as well. I'm sure f uh, different frequencies of sound will also help clear energetic blockages, but it really... You know, if we hold on to emotions or we hold on to anything, really, if we don't speak our mind, our throat chakra can get blocked. And that's when we go in and really reflect on what, what, what is what. And um, we feel these things. We, f we really feel them and let them, we figure them out, let them work through us. Okay, let these blockages clear up. Um, for your incoming energies, my Capricorn, we've got the King of Wands <clears throat> and the Nine of Wands. So I do see, and look at, there's that full moon and that, that fire energy again. So whatever cycle this was, it was right with the moon. Okay. And I feel like between now and the new moon, you will be making that decision to move forward, all right? Because we got the wounded warrior here again for the second time. And the king of wands, I'm gonna clarify it, but we really don't need any clarification here. Yeah, oh wow, clarified by the magician. I forgot that fell out. And look at clarified by the magician again. So this is, uh, this is crazy. Okay, Capricorn, queen of pentacles. Um, I see some of you guys are working on your abundance and stuff as well. Um, maybe business endeavors and stuff like that. Creative projects. Um, I do see you guys also getting into that. But we got the Magician twice, King of Wands, Nine of Wands. This is saying that literally whatever, whatever you decide to do is going to happen. I mean, so this is about manifesting, taking positive action. And it starts just by having, you know, positive thoughts. Or, or shutting down any negative self-talk within you. <clears throat> the magician, huh? The magician clarified by the seven of cups about to make that decision. I'm actually going to grab some advice. Um, on to what this choice, um, as it stands, what would be the best choice to make or, you know, whatever. Ballpark. What are we talking here? Okay. So this is talking about um We've got the devil and the ten of swords. So this is leaving the toxicity behind whatever combusted back here or anything, anything, any type of negativity, anybody backstabbed you, anybody 
did you, you know, did you dirty? This is, this is a card of betrayal here. So I see you're really hurt over whatever happened in the past here. The three of swords, the ten of swords, that's, that's overkill there. Somebody, somebody went above and beyond to, um, to make you feel like this, okay? De the devil, oppression, as it's called in this deck here. This is the card of Capricorn. So it could just represent you in your power moving forward into this new cycle, cutting off what no longer serves you. But I'm also getting that there may be some toxic habits, addictions, um, negative thought patterns, uh, people around you even that are negative that need to be cleared out of the way in order for you to move forward in your highest vibration, you know, into into some sort of happiness. I'm gonna grab geez, a couple out of here and see what we get to, but I just feel like this is, I see somebody leaving something behind that just doesn't need to be in their life anymore. Something's blocking you, Capricorn. Hierophant. For some of you, it could be a marriage. Six of cups on the bottom of both decks and the Hierophant. So it's a higher level commitment for a lot of you Capricorns. Um, or it could be a job that you've been at for a really long time and you're thinking about leaving, but you just haven't. And everybody around you at work is just negative as hell. And, you know, you've been having a really hard time making the decision. Can I, dish, can I end this? Is this really over? I mean, am I done here? Um, it's, it's looking like you you know what to do low key at, on the split okay i see the wheel of fortune i see the chariot i see the six of cups so i see i see you moving forward all right i see you yeah leaving the past in the past i'm just gonna say it like that leaving anything that has you like this nine of swords energy stress nightmares um sick to your stomach um constantly worrying questioning yourself if you're good enough anything like anything that's got you feeling like that keeping you up at night anything keeping you up at night look at look we're gonna take that sword shing so that way the universe can bring this fulfilling cup into our reality into our work okay this is really about <laughs> Getting past that deception, that conflict, See, seeing it a little differently, seeing it a little differently, moving forward from your heart space, Cap, into calmer waters. And we'll end right like that with the Six of Swords. We started with the Six of Swords and we'll end with the Six of Swords. So this is um, a message for you, Capricorn, that the worst is over. Okay, you may not be all the way out of the storm yet. You may not be all the way out of the hard times yet. This 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 rough energy I'm feeling, but you are heading into calmer waters. You will be soon. If you're not already stepping out of that energy, you will be very soon. All right, I'm gonna check uh, some romance angels. Actually, really quick. I'm going to see what's blocking you. I got this Goetia Tarot, which is um, going to show us any demonic energies that may be trying to stop you, trying to block you, anything like that, trying to get in your way. Um, but I do see with the devil and, you know, the devil, the devil right there, that is something toxic. So what is trying to block my Capricorn spirit, please? Okay, guys. You may have um, some people around you. You may have some people around you. I see a fire sign. I see a air sign. I see an Aries as well. I see Mars energy, Aries slash Scorpio. Um, but I see a couple people that may be around you that maybe don't have your best interests. Um, I see letting indecisiveness right now, letting indecisiveness get the best of you. 
that's demonic energy that's stopping you from receiving your blessings that's you know blocking these things from coming in and then we've got um the eight of cups so anything that keeps you sad anything from the past all right any low vibrational energies from the past capricorn it's time to move on move forward you're going into a whole new energy and when we do that we can't really take people who are resonating with our old frequency with us um and it doesn't mean you got to get away from everybody it just means that you're you're leveling up capricorn you're stepping into your power you're stepping into your abundance your blessings um truly truly leveling up here and uh, whenever we get close to a level up like this, all of those negative demonic energies seem to be working overtime. So <clears throat> for some of you guys, uh, some of my Capricorns are in separation right now. It says express your love. Express your love. It does say true love. It is safe for you to love chemistry. Capricorn, Capricorn. So some of my Capricorns are in separation from somebody right now. And it does look like you will be back soon with the six of swords twice. This is a spiritual lesson. It lesson. This is spiritual growth, spiritual wisdom that you are gaining right now. Whatever you're going through, my Capricorns, it is spiritual in nature. I'm going to grab you guys a um, one of these Starseed Oracle cards. And we will call it a day. I appreciate you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, if it resonated, let me know. Drop something down in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Let me know all is well. For my caps, a new earth. It's happening. <clears throat> keep holding the vision <clears throat> you've got the magician twice and then you've got this your life is a canvas card okay you really are about to be stepping into magician energy so keep in mind that your thoughts are going to be manifesting at the speed of light try to keep your thoughts positive all right try to stay focused on the vision like your best life Try to envision it and picture it in your head a few times a day and keep going back to your vision of what the future is supposed to look like, all right? It's going to be really important for you, Capricorn, moving forward. I'm getting something about manifesting. So whatever, you're, you've been manifesting something. Um, shoot. You guys, when I show you this, go ahead and pause the uh, video if you have to. Take a look at this card and take a couple deep breaths. See if you can tap into your intuition. See if you get any messages. See if you get any feelings. See uh, if the card says anything to you. All right, this is called A New Earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Don't give up now. You're closer than you think. I know it's hard to hold the frequency of a new age when it feels as if so much is crumbling and so many are losing faith. This is your sign that you're facing the right direction. You have a great gift in being able to see the potential of things before they exist. Tend to the new seeds. Dream them into existence. Don't lose faith now. Keep your focus fixed. Planting new seeds and bringing about a shift in the ages is no mean feat. It requires extreme and a radical vision. If you pull this card, it's a reminder to have faith. You chose to be here, to be part of this global shift. Whether you're bringing it about through prayer and meditation or through working on a new project, job, or creation, keep going. It's happening. Don't give up now. The world needs more dreamers like you, more people with hope in their hearts. The road ahead may not be plain sailing, Ushering in a new age in times of change never is. You're being encouraged to remember that what you've been working toward for so long is almost here. Don't question yourself now. Don't waver. Dig your devotion deep. For if you do, it'll not 
in the not too distant future, you'll be able to sit back and watch all that you've so carefully planted and nurtured grow and bloom. It's possible. Keep focusing on your dreams. You're closer than you think. How can you keep holding the vision, my Capricorns? How can you keep holding the vision? That's all I have for you, my babies. I appreciate you, man. And I hope to catch you beautiful souls on the next reading.